Hi, I'm Ken Patton. I'm a metal sculptor. And this video is about a time-lapse device that can be attached to any digital camera to make time-lapse videos. I made this because I thought it would be fun to show the processes that I use to make my art. And uh, now I'd like to show you a brief clip of what kind of art I made. This is some of my artwork. You see a lot of kinetic and a few static pieces, like my Don Quixote sitting on the table and no more jumping on the bed also sitting on the table. With the idea in mind, I made a sketch and then I went to AutoCAD and made some AutoCAD drawings. I made prints of those and uh, made patterns. <laughs> cut out some materials, I attached the patterns to the materials, and then I cut out, sand, drill, bend, sand. This is a rolling for the, uh, the motor guard, and right now I'm welding the, the uh, cap on the motor, sanding that. This is the main uh, support piece that holds the whole thing together. It's made out of brass, cuts easily with a bandsaw, sanding the edges down. This is the cam, one of the cams. Drilling that, welding it, uh, hub onto it. And now I'm making a bracket that will connect to the cam guard. That's the cam guard there. I use a TIG welder and this is silver solder attaching the uh, bracket to the cam guard. Wire brush cleaning. And there it is. This is the finished product. If you're familiar with the steampunk genre, you'll recognize its influence on my device. If you're not familiar with it, I suggest you Google steampunk, that's S-T-E-A-M-P-U-N-K, in uh, Google Images. And take a look. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. My next big piece is going to be steampunk influenced. I moved the device to a different camera for two reasons. One, to show that it will fit on another camera. And the other, because the camera that was attached to it, I'm making this video with because it does a better job. So, I'll explain a little bit of how this works. The uh, motor shaft, which I'll turn on right now, turns at 2.5 RPM with this particular motor. And with this cam having six lobes, pressing that lever every time it goes around six times for six shutters, six exposures per revolution, two and a half revolutions per minute, gets us 15 exposures per minute. Now, I can easily change that cam for this one, which has one lobe, so each revolution will get one exposure, so that's two and a half exposures per minute. So I made this a lot more complicated, really, than I needed to. Because of the steampunk influence, I wanted it to be pretty. So somebody who watches this video might decide they want one of these, but doesn't want to spend the money on all the fancy copper and brass. So I'm working on a much simpler model. It's got a DC motor. It'll have an on-off switch, run on batteries, so it'll be really convenient that way. Made out of simple steel parts. 
I'll be perfecting this, and if I hear from people who would uh, be interested in having something like this, I will, uh, I will make some. I'll have more information on this on my website soon, but if you want to contact me, you can contact me through uh, YouTube or through my website at kinkinetic.com. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, I'd appreciate a good rating. 